So what is going on dammers, my name is Mehul and welcome to your 19th Angular 6 tutorial in which we're gonna take a look at how to keep your session alive whenever the user actually refreshes your page or closes the window and comes back at a later time and so on and so forth. So let's get started. Okay, so the challenge is to keep the session alive and uh, we have to do that on the Angular front end because uh, on the back end, we are already sending and receiving cookies perfectly fine. But the Angular also needs to know that the user is actually logged in. So there are about two ways to go for this. The first one is that to keep the storage persistent, we can make use of local storage. Another one is that whenever your application reloads, Angular can hit up a server with obviously the cookies associated with it because that's not what angular is controlling so the cookies would anyways be sent to this remote server then the server can verify that whether this person is um, logged in or not and then angular can know so we're gonna take a look at both of these approaches so let's get started with local storage what we want to do is uh, go right here inside our auth.service and right here when we say set logged in is this dot login status is value and what I want to do is local storage dot set item logged in and true right so here I'm gonna say local storage dot get item log in or false and I'm just gonna json dot parse this thing json dot parse there we are right so we have our logged in status from local storage now and local storage dot set item logged in true makes sense makes sense all right now what we can do is right here we can actually just send this thing or or what we want to do is this dot logged in status dot to string now the reason for that is because we are json parsing that so we just need to have a string value otherwise the json will fail because we can just do a quick check here as well inside our console if we write json dot parse of false it gives us false but json.parse of seriously false gives also gives us false so yeah that should not be a problem but it usually is a problem with arrays so yeah that would work anyways so yeah we can just remove this and this okay so yeah we can just keep this here because typescript is complaining and we can just keep this here as well anyways it does not matter because json.parse would take care of that so what we have in here is that now if i just clear my cookies in here delete and if i log in now admin admin hit submit you can see that this is a secret message only for administrator and if we examine our local storage we get logged in as true and length of one now if I um, reload this page, you can see that we got a loading message and this secret message is only for administrator. So now our session is persistent. Now the thing is that um, if I delete my cookie, what happens, or let's just say my cookie expired, what happens that uh, according to lo Angular, I'm still logged in, but on server, I'm not. So we get, um, sla when we access slash admin, Angular allows that because um, Angular basically thinks that I am logged in, but the server does not know that. So we get the message, who the F are you? Okay, amazing. Everything's working fine. Now at this point, what you want to do is just remove your local storage thing as well. So um, what we can do in here is once we get this thing, auth dot user dot service, Oh, not right here maybe 
inside our admin component file if we get um, if data dot success is a false then I just want to remove the local storage dot clear item logged in something like this logged in or logged in status logged in yeah so now um, if you reload you can see that we would get the message who the f are you but the next time local storage dot clear local storage dot clear or it should be local storage dot remove item remove item just like this now we should get this message for the first run but from the subsequent runs it should just redirect us to the login page as you can see right because at the first run it has that local storage information but from the second run it does not so it's just the auth card kicks in and redirects us to the login form all right this was our local storage approach now let's just take a look at the remote server access so what we're gonna do here is that we're gonna remotely access we're gonna send a request to the server every time um, we are trying to access a protected route and if that's true then we're gonna proceed and if it's not then well we're just gonna shut the system down so we're gonna go to auth.guard and right here i'm just gonna say that uh, i'm just gonna switch back to my default stuff here i'm just gonna say false in here and i'm just gonna say this dot logged in status i'm just gonna get rid of that as well now the thing is that uh, if this is true then we seriously know that the user is logged because angular's application is not refreshed and this is false by default so if login logged in status is true that means we are actually logged in to the application if it is false then we're not sure that we are logged in or not it might be that we are not logged in or it might be that the user has refreshed the page but the user is still logged in so we gotta check at false we are sure if it's true then yep we are logged in otherwise we might be logged in and we might not be so inside our auth.guard instead of this thing right here we might be logged in right so what i'm gonna do is um, send another request to the server to verify whether we are logged in or not okay so in this case what we want is that we want to return a boolean value from the scan activate but instead i'm just going to check if this dot auth dot is logged in if that is true then i'm just going to return true otherwise i will check from the server if i'm logged in or not so i'm just going to say return this dot um let's just say our login service right here user dot is logged in and then i'm just gonna say that we just map over the http request we performed i'm just gonna get a response and uh, let me just first of all create this user service right here and we can just split that on lines so private user is user service like that and there we are so is logged in on user service would return us this dot http dot uh, now let's just say we just do a get request of slash api slash is logged in dot php right and uh, yep and we can just create an interface for this one as well is logged in and this just i'm just gonna say message is or just gonna say status as boolean so i'm just gonna implement this is logged in 
interface right here and yep so what we're gonna do is uh, right here inside our auth.guard I'm just gonna say okay so it says property map does not exist on type observable okay to fix this thing what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna surround this around pipe and uh, the reason for this is because angular from angular 5 onwards it uses um, pipes to use operators I'm just gonna import map in here and don't worry about this if you do not understand RxJS it's completely different thing just um, remember that this is kind of a thing to work with asynchronous stuff so we're gonna take a look at RxJS, RxJS later on in this series but for now let's just stick to what we are doing so I'm just gonna import map from the operators and that is from RxJS slash operators from there we go so now if you see type observable is not assignable to type boolean observable boolean or promise boolean type observable and we can just return a type of boolean here observable observable of boolean and if you just save this thing let's just see if we can just do it or we can just say return rest.status here rest dot what we have status right so observable is logged in something like this and inside our auth.guard we're just returning rest dot status okay so let's just take a minute out of here and see what happened in our can activate guard i'm saying that if this variable is true then we are 100 percent sure we are logged in because the angular application is not refreshed and uh, Yep, that is it pretty much. So we have manually set this whenever the user logs in. If this is false, then we are not sure that the user is the user is log, logged out or if the user has just refreshed the page. So if that is false, we're gonna hit a request to um, this thing. API is logged in slash uh, slash API slash is logged in dot PHP. Uh, we can just create this file as well really quick. And what goes in this file is I'm just gonna start a session in here and I'm just gonna say if session SESSION user is uh, let's just say is not empty or is set rather then what I want to do is just echo um, status status is true and else echo status echo status as false just like that right so what we are doing here is that if we are logged in then we are returning true if we are not then we are checking if we are actually logged in and if we are then this would be true so can activate would return true otherwise it would return false which would block our um, navigation so we can actually just enhance this a little we can say if rest of status is true i just want to set um, this dot auth dot set logged in as true and return true else i just want to say uh, return false first of all and uh, i'm just gonna say um, this dot router dot navigate to login there we are so now if we take a look in the browser let's just clear all our cookies in here and just let's just log in with admin admin summit you can see that we get the secret message only for admin now if i reload this page what happens is that we first of all inside this route 
we check from the flow can activate if this dot out dot is logged in is true actually this is false i can also show you this thing so now if you reload this thing you can see that right here inside our debugger this dot auth dot is logged in is actually false so it skips this part it hits a request to the server and we can actually see that request inside our network tab um, this is logged in dot php the server returns status as true because we are indeed logged in as we are sending this cookie to the server so the server recognizes us and logs us in and uh, yeah the rest is just the same we then hit the database call and we just get the database response so yeah that is pretty much it for this tutorial and in the next final tutorial for this mini login series we're gonna enhance the looks plus create a logout functionality as well for our application so yeah i'll see you then in the next video and one more thing if you like this video then don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to receive instant notifications